we can do three minutes of bullshit. And the next you know, it's gonna get to ten minutes of me just like yeah, and scrubbing you, through. I'm like, all, and right, all you do is go edit there, cut. Yeah, but I have to fucking convert the videos. You gotta fuck take, your. You gotta fuck your what? Convert. You gotta fuck your convertible. The videos. Convertibles, huh? No. I ain't <sighs> fucking no tailpipe. No, don't even. All right. Well, you too. He doesn't have a tailpipe. We all know this now. God, son of a... <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, Why do you do this to because me? Because they, they answered a poll and they want weird, funny, awkward openings. Damn you. Damn no, you. damn me. Damn you damn all. Damn them. <laughs> <laughs> it's their fault. Over there. <laughs> Over there and there. Yeah. Behind this wall. Yeah, I'm over I'm, there. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Bill. I'm look, and okay. I really hope we don't have a Bill. He's right there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, call, Bill. I'm sorry. If you're gonna call Bill out, look him dead in the eye. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't even know we have a Bill. Every <laughs> Bill unsubscribed right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, oh. well, that's a good that's a good segue because um, after that we're gonna cover after the burial. <laughs> The song Exit Exists. <laughs> that, wow, that was unplanned. <laughs> so there's that little yeah, gem. Yeah, there we uh, go. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's metal day. Here we mm -hmm. go. Let's do some yeah. barrels. Barrels. Some barrels. Some barrels. All right. All right. And we'll see where the volume's at. It might be a little loud. Oh, it, 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 mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. <laughs> use of the pauses yeah that's actually ver they're placed very very yeah. well within yeah, the song. They, did, they, they definitely plan those out mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. obviously they plan them out of a song but yeah. no, that's the point seems, of writing a song it seems that there was a little bit more care given on mm -hmm. their placement yeah no yeah and i like how they fold the gutturals underneath the mix yeah i actually did like the fact that when he you know screaming in like certain parts of the song that the gutturals were like just it's not overpowering it's just an accent yeah, they like, roll they rolled them right into the mix and it almost becomes its own instrument mm -hmm. in just, in the ensemble. It's not like just him going, I can puke my guts out yeah, on stage. Yeah. Not to overpower the vocal, but mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit more of a here's a here's a little bit more meat to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they call it oomph. Yeah. <laughs> and plus like all the the uh, guitar tones are actually like perfect for this song. I thought you were gonna say graffiti. I don't Guitar tones. Yeah, I was like, I just like graffiti in this. Between mix. <laughs> you know the chugging and mm -hmm. the, the cleans are actually very very well placed within the mixer. But it's very you no, know, you can hear them and it's not like you no. Know, yeah. It's not. Yeah, this is a good mix. This is definitely uh, well produced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like with every song and album that these guys put out, they just get better and better. No. I'm just saying, you know, that's how music. I mean, that works. seems like you know how most bands go, you know. Yeah, and, no. I say like normally by like album four, that's when you like hit a dud. <laughs> so, and then you're like, all right, one, two, three, good album is four. Eh. 
ladies and gentlemen. And then they come back for five. <laughs> Skyler thinks that uh, albums are much like the, the human life cycle. Yeah. You peak on album three. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of? <laughs> There's a lot of bands that, you know, they, their peaks were like three. They drop, they kind of hit a dud with number four, and then they had to recollect and come back um, even stronger on album five. Yeah, that's also called a re-release of album three. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Uh, we just re-released album three as a deluxe edition with two extra songs. Yeah, because everyone loved that album, so we're like, here, put in some, some old with some new. Yeah, put it, put it on vinyl, special edition <laughs> pre-order. Like, but we want a new album. Do you really want a new album <laughs> after the last one that we put out? Do you really? Is that what you really want? You just you just go in your room, sit down, think real hard of what you just said, <laughs> and then come back to us. And album six will be just album two re-released. <laughs> They'll never know. Yeah. It'll come out on cassette. <laughs> <laughs> That's come back too. Oh my god. All right, let's yeah. let's, uh, let's get back into this. Right uh, That's a different take. Right? Oh more than the whole crown the first song that they released off the yeah album. yeah that one had like a i love the pitch harmonics mm -hmm. but i feel like there was they kind of over yeah they definitely went ham on the pitch yeah they're harmonics. like yeah here we go they're like uh it was like a new skill they learned last week and they're like yeah. i'm gonna put it everywhere in this song yeah it's like uh, uh but it, it literally is everywhere can you even, like dial it back well we can't yeah. now it's already recorded and it's about ready to release too it, it brings me back to when our uh when our uh, guitarist got his kill switch those were a rough couple weeks. Um, <laughs> it's still ongoing. It's like, I could put this in everything now. It's like, no. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, it gets a little awkward when he puts heavy distortion on Mary Head, a little lamb, and all these cuts. Yeah, he's just hitting the kill switch. <laughs> Our other guitarist is just hitting the whammy bar. Apparently, they accent well mm -hmm. together, but I, they're playing with their toys. Enough, enough, enough. Yeah, enough um, is enough. So did you notice this? Uh, I mean, it, it hit my ear. I don't know if you noticed this. What? Uh, how crisp those drums are in this. Oh, yeah. Mix. They're fucking fast paced and they're very. No, I'm just saying, like, like the mix of them. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like. It's kind of like standard now. It's I don't want to say it's straight sample drums. Oh, yeah. They, it, it's like a mix. Yeah, it's they, a mix of yeah. the organic with the. Um, just the samples. A little behind the scenes, I guess. Yeah. Standard practice now is the expo it's called exploding the drums. Mm -hmm. And you'll take and you'll put um, digital drums on top of the organic drums and then blend them together yeah. and put them all back together. Sample blending, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a wondrous tool. Yeah. But it makes for a good sounding mm -hmm. drum, though. Real solid. Real solid. Well, yeah. But it stuck out to me. I was like, damn, those things are like. Yeah. Uh, They're like yeah. pinpoint precision, yeah. too. I hit in the list. Uh, when does this record drop? Soon, right? I. Uh, I think it releases within the next few weeks, okay. I believe. So. so we'll probably get one more single out of it. Yeah, one more single. They'll eke it out, and then we'll get the whole record. Yeah. Personally, they, I, they're already two for two on this album. There were a two two in this record? No, not, not a two two, but no, there are two four two. No, Behold the Crown and this song. Yeah. Oh. Off the record. Like number two, like, number four, number two, like 242. <sighs> Would, no, no. I know what you're trying to get. You're trying to piss me off, and that's not working. I know what you're getting at. No. It's working. Anyways, uh, so it's on the list. Your yes. list. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, check it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Bowie's a great band after the burial. Exit exists. Mm -hmm. um, lyrically, nothing really out of the realm of metal. No, pretty much. It's kind of... I mean, here, I'll pull one line for you. Mm -hmm. Maps made of flesh and bone. 
Yep, that's pretty. Yeah, we're not breaking yeah, it. Notes scrawled of crimson and blue. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean they're good. They're good lyrics. Um, sought the light of a dimin well, I mean, dimming the, existence. Yeah, the, the the hook is destroyer of worlds. We roam realms. These realms forgotten. Forgive me, I for I am a man. Pretty much sums up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they're not breaking the bank. <laughs> that next line is pretty, pretty bitchin'. Cosmic Labyrinthine? Yeah. Yeah. Unearth the soul as I reach in, all hands lost in, in the crimson. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, pretty, pretty metal. standard metal. Pretty standard <laughs> metal. <laughs> um, so, and they're good. They yeah. do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna really dig through them because no. there's your sample. Yeah, pretty much. Um,. No, I can't another, wait. For another, reason. another fuck you, I'm cool song. As a lyricist, I'm kind of like, I, obviously I love the lyrics, but I'm like, I really want to dive into them, but they're, there's really, it's kind of like straightforward in a way. There's, there's nothing for us to really, yeah, like, say, no. We can lead them off to you, mm -hmm. but yeah, you can. can read too. Yeah. <laughs> So, and instead of being here for 25 minutes... And plus, Genius isn't very known for annotating metal songs. Yeah, there's an annotation inside no. here. So, uh, so on that note, until yeah. next time, YouTube. See you guys then.